Oh, what a happy world this would be with the ukulele. Hey friends, this is a live video I recorded via the Facebook. Um, and so it's not quite as polished or edited as my normally superb YouTube videos are, but it still packs that powerful ukulele play and punch. And so I hope you enjoy and learn a ton from it. Because you got a friend in me, yeah you do. You got a friend in me, you know it's true. You. Is there an echo? Wait a minute. I'm hearing an echo. Are you guys hearing an echo? Oh, 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 oh. How about now? Is that better? Hey, John and Claudia, Chantel is here. Mary's here. Who else we got? Priscilla, how's it going? Chris Murphy. Let's see. Let's see. Colleen, Val, how are you? Michael Burt, Molly Cord, beautiful Molly Cord from Cedar Rapids, Iowa. Molly, I don't know how long you're going to stay on here, but um, man, it was so fun hanging out with you in Cedar Rapids. And you have got the best smile. I still have ever seen in my life. So there you go. Shout out from Tutorial Tuesday. <laughs> uh, Rose, how's it going? I canceled our lesson yesterday. I had a headache. It's warm outside. I am currently, as you guys know, staying in a garage with no air conditioning. I am not built for no air conditioning. That's why you might see a fan, or hear a fan, I should say. Cheers, everybody. How is everyone doing? Hopefully we'll have a few aha moments here today. Hey, Debbie. Hey, George. I don't know, I don't see, oh, there's George. Oh, we got like a, a down under group going on, huh? That's really cool. You guys ready to get into it? Today we are going to learn, first of all, Elmo is still flying. You guys, April 5th is when I, when I first got Elmo. The Christmas tree is still up. You may not be able to tell, but uh, it's starting to lose its green just a little bit. Claudia, I see you there with a couple of roses. I happen to have a couple of roses myself. Um, one of them fell behind the tree, so I'm not going to get it right now. Yeah, so anyway, that's good. Yoda's still going strong. Of course, the t-shirts are always available on my Etsy shop. <laughs> oh, man. Elmo is a pandemic mir miracle. Guys, we're going to learn... You've got a friend in me today. I will tell you guys right now, we are not gonna learn the solo. I have the solo on my YouTube channel, Devin Scott Ukulele on YouTube, and I have the solo intro. So if you wanna learn that after this lesson, head on over to my YouTube channel, like, subscribe, all that stuff the cool kids are saying, and um, follow that. I'll try to put a link in there too. I put a link to my Venmo, my PayPal, and my Patreon, because I do have a lot of people ask afterwards usually, and uh, I appreciate the tips so much, guys. I am going back to Durango next week. Um, some of my shows have opened up, and so it is going to be this like kind of weird transition time where not all of my shows had opened up, but enough for me to um, make it, as they say. <laughs> uh, the 
if I can make it there, you know. Anyway, um, so I'm excited to be back in Durango and be playing music again, just like I'm playing music for y'all right here, right now. All right, guys. Let's, uh, yeah. <laughs> Debbie, it, there are literally two by four screwed to the bottom of this thing holding it up. It has nothing to do with me doing anything to keep it alive. <laughs> um, I did think about spritzing it with a little bit of water, seeing if we can get it to, to last one more week until I go to Durango. Anyway, guys, let's start out. You've got a friend in me. You guys know this song. You've got a friend in me. You've got a friend in me. When the road looks rough ahead and you're miles and miles from your nice warm bed. You just remember what your old pal said. He said, you got a friend in me. All right, let's learn it. First of all, we're going to start out with the uh, rock on Molly. First of all, we're going to start out with the chords like we always do. A lot of regular chords in here. We've got the A7 going on. That's just open one, open, open. Next up, we have the A minor. Whoops. Oh, I see what I did here. I have the A minor, which is one, I'm sorry, two, open, open, open. Yeah, Claudia, that is an interesting question. So I have, Claudia said, or John said, um, I have a weekly gig in Durango that starts on the 23rd, um, and it's Tuesday nights. And so Tutorial Tuesdays, not sure yet. Um, before the, the lockdown situation, I was doing Tutorial Tuesdays where I would just post a video on YouTube every week. Um, you guys, let me know what you think in the comments. Do me a favor too. Subscribe and, and not subscribe, I'm sorry. You like my Facebook, but share this with your friends and with your ukulele groups and clubs because I would love to get a, a bigger following. Uh, um, I would love to get as many people as I can to be watching this and listening to this. And, um, and therefore, it would be just more fun, right? More people, more fun. So uh, I am... Elmo is going to definitely try to get to Colorado with me. The tree? Probably not. Anyway. All right, guys. So we got our A minor. Two, open, open, open. I use my middle finger for that. Let's, let's just go to a B. How about, wait a minute. I don't know. Okay, I see what's happening now. Sorry guys, just a second. I was hitting the wrong buttons. And now, I feel as if I'm hitting the right buttons. E7, which everybody knows and loves. One, two, open, open. Hey Cassie. Hey Carla. Alaric, Anara, you guys watching? Hi. Um, E7, we all love that way more than the regular E, right? We're going to throw a D7 in there, and I've got this one, the two, open, two, open. Now, I play a D7 a lot of times where it's just a regular D, so two, 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 and then I put my ring finger on the A string, third fret, C. You can do it either way. Stop me if you need to. The next up, we have, whoops, we have an F. Two, open, one, open. Next up we have a C7, which is just like a regular C, except for we're on the first fret of the A string instead of the third. Next up we have a G7. So we got open, two, one, two. How's it going? Some people don't like this chord a lot. 
The way I'm playing it is the middle finger is on the C string, second fret. My pointer finger is on the E string, first fret. And my ring finger is on the A string, second fret. You guys remember when we're learning chords and we're playing and we're, and we're doing new chords, play the chord and then deconstruct the chord. I couldn't think of the word. Deconstruct the chord. So what I mean by deconstruct the chord is I'm holding this G7 and it sounds fine, right? But if I played it, and I'm doing it on purpose, if I, I'm playing it right now, and maybe you can hear a little bit of a problem, so I play it one note at a time, top to bottom. Oh, that's not ringing, so what's happening? Oh, I'm not pressing hard enough. So that's what I mean by deconstruct the chord, okay? Play the chord. And then slowly. One note at a time. And they should all ring. If you get this. What's going on? Oh, I'm not pressing hard enough. Or maybe my fat finger is hitting. So uh, in one of my lessons, I, I told somebody the other day, think about um, we are setting our fingers like lasers on the strings, OK? So if I'm pointing at you, like I really want to put my fingers like this on the strings. So we got to curl them around, right? Because if we're laying them flat on the strings, they end up hitting the other strings, right? So we have to, we, we have to put like lasers, top of the string, pinpoint. This is why you cannot have nails on this hand because your hands are like this, right? So you don't want nails. Jessica Smith. Yes, come to Durango. I am playing. Um, uh, Jessica, I'm playing at the balcony every Tuesday for the rest of the summer, starting next Friday, if that makes sense. <laughs> OK, moving right along. C, regular C. I got that. And then we're going to throw in the old B here. Now, the way I play a B is I put my pointer finger on the bottom two strings, the E and the A on the second fret. My middle finger goes on the C string, third fret. And my ring finger goes on the G string, fourth fret. Now, some people bar. So some people put their pointer finger all the way across, and then they put their middle finger and their ring finger in the same place, basically. Either way you want to do it, whichever way you want to do it is fine. It's so hard to fix my hair on here because it's reversed, and I haven't figured it out yet. Anyway, Jessica, come up to Durango. It'll be a, a, a Rip war in good time. All right, questions, comments, or concerns about the chords we learned so far. Jessica, who do you know in Durango? Oh, also, I see your Kermit picture for your profile pic. We should learn together. A little rainbow connection next time. What do you think? Anyway, question, any questions, comments, or concerns, give me an AO if you got it. Give me a thumbs up. Give me something. Let me know that you're all out there. Yeah, the balcony is so much fun. One of the things I love about the balcony, um, a lot of you guys know, some of you do, some of you don't. Anyway, uh, I kind of got my start in the ukulele world by playing on the streets in Durango. And, and then some places saw me and they asked me to play there. Anyway. Uh, people got used to seeing me on the streets, and then the great thing about the balcony is it's upstairs, it's the second level, it's on this 
the bar is on this balcony and the sound projects down the streets and so it's so funny because I get people locals all the time that come up and they're like I could hear you I just didn't know where you were playing and so it's really fun um, it's a really great place yeah can't get those darn bars man Mindy I, I know so here's the problem my, my fingers are so fat and curved and so that's why when we're looking at bar chords, I really like to just put, just cover the bottom two. Because even though it, uh, some people it's harder to do the, just those bottom two and get that, f that finger curved around, you know, uh, but, but I like it. friends that you met in Jamaica. It wasn't the McQuins, was it? All right. So if there's no questions and I don't see any questions, let's keep on keeping on. Look at all of those letters. Whoa. Wait, what? Having trouble. Priscilla, what do you mean you're having trouble finding the link? to get this tutorial. So you should just be able to share it from Facebook. Let me know if that answers your question. So, let me just play it for you. This is for the intro. And I'll say it along. One, two, three, Four. Down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, up, down. Up. So if I'm just holding a C, I'm going one, two, three, four. Down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, up, down. Up. It seems super confusing at first, but if you just look at this bottom half here, right? That's just down, down, up, up, down, up, right? So we already know that. That's, that's that pattern that we all go to no matter how hard we try not to. In the middle of the song, we're like, oh man, I'm so glad I learned this new pattern. And wait, no, I'm just playing the Calypso pattern. OK. So that's the, the one that's like ingrained in our P Mac. So anyway, we're on our down, down, ups. All right. So we know from here over, right? Down, down, up, up, down, up. Right? So all we need to do is go down, down, up, down, down, up. Right? Say it with me. One, two, three, four. Down, down, up. One, two, three, four. Down, down, up. Now we're going to do both of them. So we're going to go like this. One, two, three, four. Down, down, up, down, down, up. Clap it if you need to. One, two, three, four. Down, down, up, down, down, up. Questions, comments, or concerns about that strumming pattern? While I get a drink. So, let's all play it together slowly. And I'm going to just stay on a C, and I'm going to go down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up. Right? Down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up up down up okay I'm gonna play it on C we're gonna stay on that C and let's just let's just play it for a minute let's just get it in our bones okay uh, if you have any questions stop ask on here and I'll look back and we'll see what we can help you out with ready one two three four down down up, down down up, down down up
questions, comments, or concerns, friends? It, uh, we're a little bit behind, I can see, so I'm going to give it just a minute to catch up. Catch up. What's everybody having for dinner? This is a pretty advanced song, so I'm excited about teaching it to you guys. If you got it, let me let me hear you you say it. Give me a thumbs up or something. Andy, how are you? UWC was a blast this weekend. Um, we did it online. You can go find it on Ukulele World Congress. Um, there's hours and hours of video of people playing songs and just having a great, great time. Taco salad, that sounds delicious. All right, guys, I don't see too many questions, so we're going to keep on keeping on, all right? All right, here's the verse. Let's learn a little bit about this intro first, okay? I'm going to actually go back to this B chord. When we have a B chord here, if we slide it up one fret, we have a C chord. Slide it back down to the B. Slide it down one fret to the B flat. Slide it back up to the B. So we can take this chord, this shape, and go up B, C, C sharp, D, D sharp, E, F, F sharp. All right, so that's a movable chord. That's a shape chord, OK? So let's come back to the verses. And the reason I tell you that is because see that where it says intro? Leaving the G string open. Save those jokes for later. Hold that B chord. So if I was going to say it, it, was, it would be open, two, I'm sorry, three, two, two. Let me make a, let, let me get back here. And the G string's open. The C string is on the third fret. And then I am taking my pointer finger and covering the E and the A on the second fret. OK? So if you're following along and you did that, and you have these in, the, in this exact order, we're open, three, two, two, slide everything up one fret. So now I am open, four, three, three. And I'm going to keep that shape, and I'm going to strum the C. Always keep that G open. I'm going to go down one fret to the B, down one more to the B flat, and up one to the B. So try that with me, OK? And this is tough, guys. This is, this is some advanced stuff. So if you're not getting in right now, that's quite all right. Just rewatch this video later, OK? Uh, my recommendation would be to stay with me now. That way you can ask questions, right? And I can hopefully answer them for you. So we've got our chord. Oh, we've got our chord. And it's open, four, three, three. OK? So the G string is open. The C is on fret four. The E and the A is on three and three. We're going to call that a C. So we go C, slide everything down one fret, B, slide everything down one more, B flat, slide everything up. OK? So if I'm using that pattern, down, down, up, I do it on the C. Down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up. Up, down, up. OK? You guys, you guys tracking along? You guys following me? That's, it's, that's some difficult stuff, OK? 
So, let's try that again. We go on the C with an open G. We go down, down, up, switch, down, up, down, down, up. C, B, B flat, B. Questions, comments, or concerns? I know that's really hard, but do you guys understand the concept of that? And trust me, that's like almost the hardest thing in this whole song. So if only you had a ukulele. Oh, yeah, Mike, I know somewhere really close to you, you could probably get one or 17. <laughs> Michael Catricide, that's uh, the friend I'm staying with. He owns Mike's Moan and More, kind and gracious enough to let me work a job while I was not able to work a job, right? We're coming to you live from his garage right now. Ayo, great, Andy, you've got it. Awesome, awesome, awesome. All right, so that's going to be our intro. We're going to do that two times, that whole progression. One, two, three, four. Down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up. Again, down, down, up, down, down, up, down. And that's going to be our intro until you learn the the other intro. So you're going to switch it up. Now, it is very tough, Rose, isn't it? But you've got a really good teacher, I, I hear. Um, so I bet we can figure something out. Then we're going to come in. And you've got a friend in me. We're going to keep using that same strum pattern. Down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up. So down, down, up is on C. Down, down, up, G7. Down, down, up is C. Up, down, up is on C7. OK? Are you guys tracking along? Hey, Paula, how's it going? So I'm going to play it again for you, and I'm going to say the chords this time. We are now into the lyrics. We're not going to play the intro. Remember, down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up. This is an advanced song, guys. Ready? Starting on that C. One, two, ready, go. C, G7, C, C7. So the tricky part might be the down, down, up, when we switch to that C7, right? Down, down, up, up, down, up. Let's try that all again. One, two, ready, go. C, G7, C, C7, keep going. F, D7, C, C7. So, guys, can we try to play that and sing it? We're going to try it. We're going to try it, right? What happens if we mess up? Who cares? I had a friend talking to me today. And they said um, they're having a hard time projecting. They're having a hard time playing and, and because they're worried. And we were, out, we were out playing pool. I got to take the day off a little bit. Um, so me and a couple friends went and played a little bit of pool. I love to play pool. Um, I'm terrible at it, though. And that's kind of what I told him. And <laughs> it was probably the fourth game, and I, uh, I hadn't won anything, even close, right? Uh, I won one because somebody scratched on the eight ball. But I didn't win. He lost. Anyway, so anyway, um, he said he has a hard time because he, he gets nervous to sing out. And the truth is, guys, who cares? If you're having fun, who cares, right? And I was explaining to this uh, to him as I hit the cue ball and you know completely missed the ball I was trying to hit in the first place. And I said, it's like me with pool, right? Sure, I would love to win. And sure, we would all like to be better. And so we should strive to do that. We should watch these tutorials. We should practice. We should take lessons. We should learn more and more. But who cares if you're having fun? If you're out and singing and playing and having a good time, then just continue to enjoy it. Do what you love, right? That's not to say that you don't need to practice and you don't need to try to get better. 
But if you enjoy it, trying to get better will come naturally, right? So when I missed every ball on the table, who cares? I was still having fun. Now, if I wanted to do that professionally, I would make sure that I don't miss every ball on the table every shot anymore, right? Anyway, that was a sidebar. And I hope that while I was talking, you all practiced. <laughs> Let's do the first and second lines. This mirror thing. Um, the first and second lines while singing. You ready for this? Here we go. One, two, three. C. You've got a friend in me. You've got a friend in me. Okay? Who got it? Raise your hand. Let me know. Who cares, right? No. All right. Had a power outage. Oh, man. Yeah, the winds and stuff are crazy right now. Eukster Brown, how you doing, buddy? You guys want to try that one more time? Here we go. Starting on the first verse, we're going to play the first and second line. One, two, on a C. You've got a friend in me. You've got a friend in me. If you want to, you don't have to go to that second C7. Questions, comments, or concerns? Good, good to hear, good to hear. All right, we're gonna keep moving on. So, the next line. When the road looks rough ahead and you mind. So all I'm doing there, during those whole two lines, is down, down, up, up, down, up. And I switch to the C, down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up. So I go F, C, E7, A minor on both lines. Now you're going to hear me throw a chuck in there on the second down. Down, chuck, up, up, down, up, down. Chuck up, up, down, up. Do it if you want. Don't do it if you want. Everything's great. Okay? Let's give that try. Let's give that a try. The, f the second, I'm sorry, the third and fourth line now. You guys ready? Slowly. One, two, three, go. When the road looks rough ahead in your mind. Just remember what your old past said. So all three of those lines, line three, four, and five, are the same. Down, chuck, up, up, down, up, down, chuck, up, up, down, up. No, no throwing up chucks. Yeah. You know, Mindy, I like to I like to make it easy. So yeah, let's just throw a couple chucks in there. This is such an easy song. <laughs> and then the last line, you got a friend in me. So down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, a down. Guys, let me hear from you. I know you're all just strumming away. But let me hear from you. How you doing? You guys still with me? Anybody still there? You still alive? Are we remembering to smile? I heard Rachel Ray said in an interview once, the hardest thing for her to do as she started to do cooking shows and things was smile all the time. All the time. So it's like, that's hard for me too because when I'm doing this and I'm like, oh, I got to find that chord. And I'm like, let's see, where is that? Thing. I but apparently it's better if I'm just like, oh yeah, let me find that chord, guys. Oh yeah, oh it's right here. Okay, great. People seem happier. I don't know. Paula, you're still here. I hope your power stays on. 
Better than you thought. Good, Rose. That's always, that's always great. What say you? Let's do this whole thing on, let's do the intro and the first verse. You guys ready for it? Remember that intro, it's just down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, up, down. Up. All right, here we go, guys. Let's go slow, though. I'm gonna go just painfully slow. That way later on, when you're trying to really solidify this, you can play this video back and play the song with me. Ready? We're going like this. This is what it sounds like. Don't play it, but this is what it's gonna sound like. Right, it's really slow. That's what we're gonna do, okay guys? We're gonna go that slow because the, the best thing to do is to learn it slow, right? And so if we do it slow this time, then later on, if you guys need to come back and practice, you can come back to this part to minute wherever we are, right? Minute 40 already, wow! Um, and, and you can do this very slowly. You guys ready? Ready? Here we go. One, a two, a one, two. Ready? Go. Down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up. Again. Down, down, up, down, down, up, down. Here we go. You got a friend. Tell me, tell me. Peter Mac is the master of smiling, right? He's all the time. Yeah, listen. Yeah, Paula, I recommend that you stay with me now. That way, if you have any questions, you can ask, and hopefully, I can see. I'll see them and answer. How you guys doing? Greg Gent in the house. Ukulele Gent. He was a guest star on the Pete and Devin show last week. Tomorrow, we have Ukulele Russ. That's the hope, right? You guys, would you guys like to see, who else would you like to see on the Pete and Devin show? Let us know. Coming along slowly, right, Debbie? Man, I just wish that I would have had video of a little over six years ago when I started the ukulele. I was terrible and if I could just play that video for you guys no one would be embarrassed or think that they're going too slow ever again you guys would be like at least I'm better than Devin <laughs> hey Dale how's it going all right right guys let's let's speed it up once let's do that again but kind of up to tempo. You got a friend in me. Uh, you got a friend in me, right? So this is what it's gonna sound like. Don't play it. It's gonna sound like this. So one, two, three, four. Two, 
intro, C. Down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down. Here we go. You've got a friend in me. You've got a friend in me. When the road looks rough ahead in your miles and my very nice warm bed. Just remember what your old pal said. He said, you got a friend in me. you got a friend in me. So the second verse just repeats the first, but with different words. Questions, comments, concerns, accolades. What would we call it if you didn't like it? Um, demerits. I don't know. Hey, Jody, how's it going? You guys, I'm going to get uh, another drink, and I will be back to answer your question. For those of you that are concerned that this is a candle, it is not a candle. <laughs> Thank you, Chantel. Thank you. I don't see too many questions, so... Does that mean we are ready to move on to the bridge? I saw somebody post earlier that it was always the bridge that got them. So here's the bridge. First part, super easy. Down, down, up, up, down, up, right? We already know it. Some of the folks might be a little bit smarter than I am. Now, here's where people freak out, but you don't have to freak out. So I take this B that I'm already holding, the shape of this B, and on bigger, I slide it up to the one fret for each finger. Bigger and stronger, too, right? So I've got this. Some of the folks might be a little bit smarter than I am. Bigger and stronger, too. OK? So here we go. We already know. Let's just play the first line together. Down, down, up, up, down, up. One, two, ready, go. Some of the folks might be a little bit smarter than I am. And then I want you to slide it up, one fret. One, two, B, slide it back down. One, two, one. So just do this with me. Listen to what I'm gonna do. Go one, two, three, four. One, two, one, two. We can do that, right? Hey, Paula, can you message me or email me and I can send it to you? Because you can find this on like uh, Ultimate Guitar, but the I changed some of the chords for this tutorial. Anyway, so we can all do that, right? We're gonna hit the weird C twice. We're going to hit the B. We're going to slide down, hit the B, and the C. Let's do that together. One, two, ready, go. C. Everybody get that? Here is the cool sounding part. I'm not going to say difficult. I'm going to say cool sounding. I did this, and I'll go very slow. I did the C, the B, the C, one, down, up, down, up, down. Okay? So, I did the C, slid down to the B, back up to the C, and then I go, with my hand, I'm just going down, up, down, up, down. Okay? But with my left hand, I'm going C, B, C, sharp, D. 
So this hand doesn't change positions or shape as much as it just change, changes where it is on the, on the fretboard. So it does change positions. OK? All right, guys, stay with me. It, I know it's difficult, but you can come back and watch it. It took me, it took me quite a while to get this down, OK? So let's start again on that C. We're going to go two Cs, two Bs, two Cs, and then down, up, down, up, down on C, B, C, C sharp, D. Very slowly. You ready? One, two, ready, go. C, C, B, B, C, 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 B, C, sharp, D. Can't say it that fast. C, B, C, C sharp, D. Let me play it for you. Bigger and smarter, too. None of them would ever love me. So then we're just down, down, up, up, down, up. We're going to come down to this D. Let's do a D7 here. The way I do, it's G7. Me and you. OK? So I think the best thing to do, Mindy, um, oh, you can't find the Venmo. Um, the Venmo the, at the top of this, the comment section, I commented with my Venmo information. Or you can message me later if you want. Uh, so I appreciate that. Thank you. The reason I always look over here, guys, is because this is where I have your comments. And obviously, this is where the camera is. All right, guys, let's do that second line again. And once we get to the D, we're going to keep playing down, chuck up, up, chuck up. OK? Let's go slow again. One, two, three, four. Bigger and stronger, too. None of them would ever love you. D7, the way I do, it's me and you. Now, I hit it. The way I do, it's me and you. OK, and stop it immediately. Rose, your favorite thing to do. Um, that's a little inside joke. Rose and I do lessons together. And I was, I was trying to get her to do something. and. She didn't enjoy it as much as I did. <laughs> All right, guys. So let's do this. Any questions about the concept of that, right? If you guys have ever been to my workshops, I always tell you, my goal in this workshop is to make you leave slightly self-conscious about who you are as a person. <laughs> and what I mean by that is I want you to know where you're wrong. Because if you know where you're wrong, you can fix it. Admitting the problem is the first step to fixing it, right? And so maybe you know what's happening here, but you don't know how to transfer it to your hands yet, right? See, even I do it wrong sometimes. And the best thing to practice this would just be hit it down slowly, right? I don't see any questions yet, so we're going to keep going. I want to play this whole bridge, OK? You guys ready? Remember, we start out with just the down, down, up, up, down, up. And once we get on that B, we stay in that shape for almost the rest of the thing. Now, you may see me go, the way I do it, me and you. And all I'm doing is muting the strings there. But you don't have to do that right now, OK? I've thrown a lot of information at you. All right, here we go. One, two, on the F. Some of the folks might be a little bit smarter than I am. Bigger and stronger, too. None of them will ever love you the way I do. It's me and you. And then we go into the third verse. Questions? comments or concerns about that before we go into the whole song. We're going to play the whole song together. Should we do that one more time, just the bridge?
Well, I am really lagging tonight. Just waiting for the old lag to catch up. Hey, Melissa, I think you texted me a minute ago. I have not answered you. Oh, never mind. Dale texted me. Wrong cousin. I don't see any questions happening, so either you guys have given up on me or you're ready to go on. But before we go on, let's hit that bridge one more time. You ready? Starting on the up. One, two, ready, go. Some of the folks might be a little bit smarter than I am. Bigger and stronger too. None of them would ever love you the way I do. It's me and you. And as the tears go by. Debbie, sounds neat someday. Keep trying though. Keep trying. That's all you can do. You guys ready to play this together? I need to get at least two thumbs up to play this song. I'll wait, guys. Guys, while I'm waiting, let's talk about a few things. I have some pretty cool stuff. Devin's Dance Party has came out, come out. I've got these CDs in the mail. I'm going to mail a bunch of them out tomorrow. Um, so if you've ordered one already, you will have yours by the end of the week, hopefully. Um, if you haven't ordered yours yet, you can go to my Etsy site. So just type in Devin's Got Ukulele on Etsy. Or you can go, there's a bunch of thumbs up. Thanks. Um, or you can go to my band camp site, Devin Scott Ukulele, and download the digital copy. Guys, here's a pre-announcement for all my favorites, which is you. Um, tomorrow or the next day, I will be releasing my own line of, of practice ukuleles, we'll call them. Um, they have pickups in them. They sound good. They are a small-scale soprano. It's a soprano scale, but a smaller body so that you can carry them with you. They are a solid piece of wood so that if they are in your bag and you're out hiking or you're on a plane and things are getting jostled around or you're traveling, they won't break. I don't want to say they won't break. They are very tough and they are harder to break than this ukulele, okay? So keep, keep your eyes open for that and your ears. Okay, yes, Dale, you have yours order. Can you buy a signed copy? Yeah, it's going to cost a lot more, though, Chantel. Um, couldn't order through PayPal. On my, uh, on my Etsy site, you couldn't order through PayPal, Claudia? Oh, but Claudia, we need to talk anyway, because I've got other things coming your way, so... I'll just send a CD at the same time. All right, guys. Let's play the whole song together. I don't see any questions. You know, I actually have, um, sorry, David said I have a, he bet I have a rubber stamp. Let me show you guys something very quickly. So this, this here is an unfinished version, but I made these um, ukuleles for UWC-12, and I auctioned them off, and a lot of the profits went to Kiva. But anyway, I got this wood burner, and so my print is going to be on every ukulele. There was only five of these ukuleles, and I signed them. Anyway, back to the song. I keep getting, you guys keep distracting me. I am easily distracted. Distracted. All right, let's play this song together. You guys ready? Here we go. Now again, I made this video today and I had to play it at the right speed, otherwise it messes up, if it messes up. I'm sorry, we're gonna keep going, okay? Ready, one, two, three. All right, at the intro, a one, two, three, four, down. One more time.
Breath ahead in your miles and miles A nice warm bed You just remember what your old pal said He said you got a friend in me Here we go You got a friend in me You got a friend in me You got troubles, hey I got them too isn't anything I wouldn't do for you. Stick together and make it through because you got a friend in me. You got a friend in me. Let's go to the bridge. Here we go. Some of the folks might seem a little bit smarter than I am. Bigger and stronger too. Come on. Because you've got a friend in me, yeah you do. You've got a friend in me, you know it's true. You've got a friend in me. Hey, did we finish it? Because I forgot to teach the end. <laughs> Squirrel. All right, guys. Um, so let's go over that ending really quickly, and I'm just going to move this down just a little bit, and then I'm going to move this up. All right, so that last line goes, you're going to see it side dead, so down, down, up. D7, down, up, C, E7, A minor, okay? Those chords are just a little bit out of place, so down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, down. Play it with me, one, two, ready, go. You're gonna see it's our destiny. And then we go back to the down, down, up, down, down, up. Because down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up. You got a friend in me. And then at this last part, I kind of make it a little bit weird, and I go, you. I'm just going down, up, down, up, down, up, down. You got a friend in. And then I hit a C, Chuck, G7, Chuck, C, G, C. You guys follow that? Questions, comments, or concerns about that one? So, because you got a friend in me, yeah you do. You got a friend in me, you know it's true. You got a friend in me. All right, questions, comments, concerns. Guys, that is almost exactly an hour. Um, I had a great time. What do you guys think? What do you guys think? Did you see at the end? I go, I'm going down. So, and sometimes just just because I'm a showboat, right? I'm a showboat. I do this figure eight pattern. So I go down, up, down. Up. So I'm still going down, but instead I'm going. I'm bringing this. I'm writing an eight here. I'm, all right, it's the infinity symbol sideways, right? Because friendship is forever. So that's the kind of that's the kind of jokes you get if you stick around to the end. So it goes like this: You, cause you got a friend in me. Yeah, you do. You got a friend in me. You know it's true. You. guys thank you once again so much for watching if you have any questions about where to get that album that I was talking about or I saw somebody had some issues with PayPal or something 
just feel free to message me. Guys, um, please share what's going on here. I love what I'm doing, and I hope that other people will as well. And I would love to get out to as many people as I can. And I cannot wait to see you guys at an actual festival and have workshops and tutorials together where I can throw things at you if you're noodling, Paula, and just, you know, have a good time. Anyway, guys, I love you all. I hope to see you very, very soon. It is very encouraging to me that there are people getting back out on the road, entertainers. It's very encouraging to me that there is at least one place in Durango that is going to start having music again. And uh, I cannot wait to see everybody. I cannot wait till the first festival that we can all go to together. Um, anyway, I will see you all very, very soon. Thank you very much. And we, yes, we can talk tomorrow. Uh, I am working tomorrow, but just message me. Um, had a great time, and I'll see you all very soon. Bye. <laughs>Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Thanks for learning. It's great to hang out with you all. I appreciate everything so much. Thank you guys so much for supporting on Patreon and PayPal and Venmo and all that jazz and buying my merch and allowing me to live this unbelievable life that I live. If you have something you want to learn or hear, let me know in the comments below and I'll see you soon. Bye. Oh, what a happy world this would be with the ukulele.